What is up, guys? Zach in here. And in today's video, you have requested it. You have begged me for it. You have asked for it. You have told me countless times, Zach, I need you to help me pull and cold call a probate list, one of the best lists possible for wholesaling real estate. And I have come, I have answered your demands, I have answered your questions. And in this entire video, I will show you the step-by-step -step process. I'm going to go in as much excruciating detail as I have to from going to pulling a list for free online, a probate list, and cold calling those sellers for the best success possible in wholesaling real estate. Guys, you're going to hear me call real life probate sellers in wholesaling real estate. I'm going to turn it all and show you exactly how to do it the right way. Guys, there's no one else in wholesaling real estate that does this. Check the audio. The audio is good. The gurus can't stop us. We're ready to go. I'm excited, guys. There's literally nothing stopping me right now. We're going to break it down. I'm going to show you how to pull, cold call, skip trace, all for free, guys. I have nothing in my pockets, only my phone, the camera, mic, internet connection. I got no cash on me, so there's no way I can pay for this list. So anybody watching this, you're going to see me cold call live, motivated sellers. Austin says this is the video everybody has been waiting for and we are going to give it to everyone right now but the one thing i gotta do before we break it down you know what i gotta ask y'all already know what's going to go on you already guys know what the deal is you just gotta do me one big favor make sure you go out here smash that like button hit that subscribe button comment below your questions and we're going to get into it. We're going to share exactly me pulling and cold calling the probate process, guys. If you're looking for a quick 15-minute video, this is not it. I'm literally going live. There's no editing. There's no fluff. This is all real life legit. Guys, I wholesale real estate for real. I do wholesaling houses for real. Y'all know that. So I got to give it to you real. I got to keep it 100. I got to show you how to do real estate the right way. Like This is a five-minute video of me telling you what to do. I'm showing you what to do. I'm here's my hand, grab my hand. I'm going to show you how to cold call probates. We're doing it the right way, but guys, you have to match my energy. If you are not excited for this, I don't know how much more excited you can be. There's only one person I know that can do the job. Let's kick it guys. It is wholesaling time. Woo! Fuck out of bed, bitch. Go. Get up, get up, and then they got cold call. Gotta wake up, gotta wake up, bitch. Get up. Get up, get up, get up. Get up. Get up. What's up, guys? Zach in here, guys. I teach wholesaling real estate for free. I am currently the only person in wholesaling real estate to teach it completely for free. I have no course. I have nothing to sell you. And I take that to the bank. And so let's break it down, guys. Let's get it going, guys. There's nothing, guys. We literally have a hurricane bailing down, railing down on Florida currently. There is literally nothing. I already said this. The gurus ain't going to stop me. And oh, dang, hurricane's going to stop me from teaching you wholesaling and thinking real estate. Nothing. Okay? I'm going to teach you guys how to do it right. <laughs> like I'm telling you, our team's still calling, our team's still going. We're not stopping. We do not stop. We are already in momentum. When you keep going, you guys, everybody talks about downward spirals and those are not good things, but you got to remember guys, there is upward spirals. And right now in your business, if you are constantly talking to sellers and constantly pulling lists and constantly cold calling and constantly doing the right things, you will go in an upward spiral. You start calling sellers, you're going to go upward spiral where they have people want to sell the property. You close it, you do it. That is what we're talking about today. We're talking about cold calling, pulling probate sellers. Let's get into it. I don't want to waste any more time. I will just want to break this down for you. So I'm jacked up. I'm ready to go, guys. Let me know where in the world you guys are coming in from. Also, put me your markets. I want to pull probates in your markets so just so we can do it randomly so I can show you exactly how to do it. 
but let's break it down. So the first question, and then we're going to break it down for the beginners out here is like, first of all, who is this guy screaming behind a mic? Why, where is a 23 year old got to tell me about wholesaling real estate? What's a probate? What in the world am I doing? So my name is Zach in. I've been wholesaling real estate for over five years currently, and I've done over 1,000 real estate wholesaling deals. And all you got to know is I show you wholesaling real estate for free, guys. I make millions of dollars every single year in wholesaling real estate. So I make all this money so I don't have to charge you money. I just want to give it all for free. This business has blessed me beyond anything I could ever compare. It's given me money. It's giving me passive income. I don't have to worry about money for the rest of my life at 23 years old. But because of that, I don't have to worry. And that means I don't have to be a stupid little broke guru and I don't have to sell you a stupid course, okay? I give it, I get to give it to you absolutely for free and that is what I do. So what are we doing here, guys? So the reason why I give an intro is I have gotten, I think, 65, 70,000 new Instagram followers the past three days because some reels I've had blown up. So I'm having a lot of new people on here. So uh, excuse me if I'm saying a lot of new stuff, but I love all the new people coming in. If you're coming in from Instagram the past three days, uh, let me know in the comments. Love to say hi to you. But so now you know who I am, what I do, what are we doing today? So I'm going to be calling probate. So in wholesaling real estate, guys, we have a process where we find people who want to get rid of the property. We have a conversation. We get a property locked up. Then we sell it to a rich landlord or a house flipper for a finder's fee, maybe a 20, 25, 30, $40,000 finder's fee, guys. Remember, everything I teach about wholesaling real estate is in the bottom right-hand corner here at freewholesaling.com. Everything is on there. So what we're doing today is specifically trying to find people that want to sell their property for a discount. And there's plenty of lists to be calling guys, freewholesaling.com. You know, I, I kind of break that all down. But one specific list, which I really love, are called probates. And that's what we're really focusing on today. And probates are people that unfortunately passed away. And you might be like, that's a terrible list to be going after, Zach. Like, well, what, are you going after people that passed away? That, that's a terrible, like, that's that, that seems terrible, right? But the thing about that is these cause a lot of issues with people. And in wholesaling real estate, when we have issues, the point is when there are issues with a property, we usually get paid very well in wholesaling. So you might think if I live in Florida and you know somebody passed away in Florida and their son or daughter, the heir to the house, lives in Colorado, maybe it's just a sitting there ugly house. And unfortunately, when people are older, they don't care, care of the property. They care more about their quality of life, which is way more important, right? And the house kind of sits there for like a year or two, uh, ugly, distressed, and a lot of people just don't want to deal with it. They just want to get rid of it for cash. And obviously, they can sell it on the market whenever they want, guys. Like if somebody wants the most for it, we don't deal with that. We deal with the ugly houses, but we can make a ton of money, guys. You guys see on my YouTube channel, all my deals that are pretty much like over 90% of my deals that are 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. I've done a couple hundred thousand dollar deals I've documented. So I think I've documented two of them on the channel. I think I've done about five of them currently. Over hundred grand, they're pretty much all probates. So when people pass away, people just want to get rid of the property and make a ton of money on it. So that's the point. We're looking for people that passed away. We're calling the heirs and seeing if they just want to sell that property for cash. Hey, if they don't want to sell it, no big deal. Really not the end of the world. But if they do sell it, uh, they can buy it from us and we're good to go. So that is what we're focusing on today. And that's what we're doing. Uh, so we are all caught up to speed. So what we're going to do right now is without further ado, we're going to do a three-step process to cold calling probates. Step one, guys, I just want you guys to understand. Let me write this down for you so you see it, uh, what our step-by-step -step process is. So step one, we are going to pull a probate list, pull a probate list. Two, we're going to skip trace that list. So step one, we are going to be pulling a probate list. Okay. And then step two is we are going to skip trace that list and skip tracing is basically finding their phone number. That is pretty much all we're doing. I try to make this as simple as possible because wholesaling can get complicated if you want it, but it can also be very simple, right? It's like, you know, boxing, right? You're like, you punch the other guy. Now, obviously boxing get very, very complicated and technical, but for most people, they want to learn boxing. You just got to learn how to punch, right? And then, you know, there's blocking all this stuff. There's wait, there's boxers I know what I'm doing. And then I uh, basically cold call it, right? So that's the point where we're going to do today is a three-step process. We're basically going to pull a probate list. We're going to go skip trace that probate list. We're basically going to find their phone number. And then we're going to call these people and basically see if they want to sell the property, right? That's all we're doing today. Really don't want to complicate it, guys. And if you're here for like the quick action, like I got to pull the list first, okay? Like I'm not getting ahead of you guys. I'm doing this live with you just so you can hold my, I can, you can, I can hold your hand and kind of show you. So uh, let's break this down. So I'm going to start uh, doing a couple counties that I know uh, personally that have really good deals. And then I'm going to have you do it. And we can kind of go from there and sort of figure everything out here. So uh, let's go here and start pulling here. So 
Uh, what I can tell you is what first one we're going to do is Cumberland County, Maine. So we are in currently Cumberland County. Well, I don't know what that is, but we are in Cumberland County, Maine. So uh, we're going to search Cumberland County, Maine. So you just guys see some Maine. So Cumberland County, Maine is basically at Portland. Uh, it's got a population about 303,000, uh, pretty decent population. And we're going to basically gonna go after the probates on this. So uh, let's sort of go after here and let's start pulling this list. So uh, I heard one person say they've done it here. And so that's just want to make it a little easier for everyone starting out. And then we'll get a little harder list to do. Now, remember, not every market you can do it this easily, but there are some markets that that can be done like this. So that's what we're going to do. So really what I'm going to go here is we're going to look at some recorded dates. We're going to some advanced options here, but uh, this is basically the real property records. So you just go to property records for your county or city. So this is Cumberland County. Give me a second. I've actually never been on this website, but I did heard this is a good probate market. So I am looking at this. So give me a second. I'm going to look. So it's funny, the dates are from 1753. So let's do for the past, you know, two months, right? Uh, let's do three months, right? Okay. I have a lot of days to go through that. So let's do 2022. Let's just do that. That's fine. So what I'm going to do is I can go by here. Let me see here. We can search all and we'll see if we go through probates on this one, right? So this might take me a second, but we're going to go try to figure this out. So we're on the public records. We're on probate. Let's see if it's going to help us out here. So uh, advanced, we are going to go here to near, right? Uh, probate, and we're going to go search. Let's see if it needs a business name. So last name is going to be required on it. So we're going to do a document search. Uh, record date search might help us out. Let's see. All okay. right. Record date. I ain't going to work. Volume search. No. Um, I'm assuming a record date's probably going to be our best one. So we're going to go to record date for the past. Let's, let's bring this back a little more. Let's do September 1st. And we're just going to search all the records. Actually, shoot, I could have done this a lot better. Hold on. There's one. All right. These are all the records, which is a little too much. So I'm just going to go here to the advanced tab. Click this one. And we're going to go through all the records. So these websites get a little confusing. So I, I am trying to show you that like I can filter this out a little better. So what I'm going to go here is go all the way down to probate. So there's lean. So if you want to learn how to pull lean, cold call those, you, know, you got all this stuff, right? So I'm going to go here to probate. Click search and see if that helps me at all. At all. So we're going to have that search. And what hopefully is going to pop up is all the probates. We're going to see. I'm doing this live. So so sounds good here. Looks like we got it. So as you can see here in Cumberland County, I literally just pulled all the probates. So all we got to do is go through all these records, right? And a lot of it takes some time. But like as you can see here, these are all probates. Uh let's do the close. So these are just the newest probates that just got filed. So what I'm going to do is click the book and page and sort of read some information right here. So, uh, there's a grantor and grant grantee. And what I could see here is, uh, I'm pretty sure La Sociada white passed away. And then Charles white is the heir, which is probably married. I'm assuming uh, so that is what I'm guessing. So we're just going to click this and see if we got inf in any information on this. So it's looking like I can view the image on this. And pretty much from this image, I ain't going to find much on this, right? This is all. Okay. In consideration for a dollar. Nope, that's not it. Hold up. That is not it. Where in the world am I? Let me get out of that. All right. That one's a little too confusing. All right. This is the probate right here. So let's view the image of the probate. So as you guys can see here, I have the probate filled out. And this is kind of how you get the information. Uh, so what I see here is a Lashodia Betty White. Uh, decedent died in Cumberland County. Uh, it was probated formally, I'm guessing. I can just kind of go through here. So the personal representative here is Charles White Sr. And Charles White Sr. does not, unfortunately, he does not have a property address here. It's a P.O. box. But what I can see is Lasodia White is right here. She's actually associated with another property. So that's really how we do it. So I'm going to look at this deed right here. It's probably going to be a super old deed, but I can kind of see the property from there. Let's see if they 
have it there to make it easier. They're probably going to make it super complicated. Beginning. Oh, my Lord. Yeah, this is going to be super complicated. All right. The book and page is going to be here. We got discharge. So all I can basically do is let's just do this the lazy way because I feel like being lazy today. And so we have their information right here. Okay. So we see here that Lashodia White unfortunately passed away. And what I can see here, if I go back to, I go, I kind of go back a little here. Hold up. On the select all version. Let's see. Make this a little bigger. All right. So we're going to go back to the probate. So we're going to collapse. Does this collapse? I'm going to reset that one and just basically go off of the probates. Is this it? Hold up. All righty. So Lashodia White. So all I'm going to do is just search it. Whatever. All right. So we're going to search Lesho We're going to search Charles W. White. So that's all we're going to do. I'm going to go here to TrueBeopleSearch.com. And all I'm going to do is just search the guy's name. So his name was, I'm going to go to triple search. His name was Charles White. Charles White in, let's see, where is the property at? Cumberland County, Lisbon Falls. So we're just going to search Lisbon Falls. And when I go to tribulesearch.com here, let's go here. So this is the cool website, truefuelsearch.com. I can kind of find everyone's information on this website. And pretty much I'm just going to search Lisbon Falls and search it and see what pops up. So as we see here, we have two Charles Whites. Remember, guys, when I look at the information, so let me show you really quick, just so I, you know what I'm doing and how I figure out which one to click. Right here on the deed of the person that passed away, I see that... Uh, Charles W. White Sr. is on the name. You guys see it right here. Charles W. White Sr. under written there. So all I'm going to do is just go right there and call them. Now, I have a lot of VAs do it. So, but I'm just trying to make this really simple. So you guys see, so I'm going to click here. And it looks like we got one phone number that pops up and we have an email address. So it looks like the house that they own is 58 Summer Street. So I'm going to go search that up right now. And yeah. And it looks like they're, his address right now is just a P.O. box, but whatever. So 58 Summer Street, I'm going to look that on Zillow. As you can see here, that 58 Summer Street currently is a decent looking house right here. You know, 251000 uh is the Zillow on it. Not a bad looking house, right? Decent part of Maine, right? Uh, good population. So that might be a good lead. This is from 2019. So... Let's call this person up. Let's try to get a deal. So guys, remember the process I'm doing. Let's let's do this one last time. Uh, let's, let's uh, let me just show you this really quick. So this is, so we pulled the probate list. I'm going to skip trace. I found their phone number. Now we're going to call them, right? So we're on number three calling. So let's go back to truepeoplesearch.com and get their phone number. Uh, I got an alternative angle. See, it looks completely different, right? And the lighting because that I have a crazy like cinema movie camera I use for the li live stream. And the crazy part about that is like it picks up light so sensitive that like the other one is like crazy. All right. So let me just go here and start putting my dialer in. And what I'm going to do is just dial this person up. So I don't know. This looks a little dark. So let's just change this real quick. That's a lot better. Way better. All right, let's go call them up and let's call this person up and see if they want to sell their property. So let's go at it. I'm getting the number associated with the Trupial search. I don't like landlines, but we're going to make it work, right? So let's get it going. Hey, this is Zach. Please give me a call back whenever you can. He didn't answer. 
Oh, jeez. Y'all know y'all y'all got to answer, you know. Lordy, lordy. All right. Well, we're gonna get we're gonna go to the next one then. So let's go to Cumberland County Property Records, guys. Remember, guys, the point of the video is, of course, to look at some live calling, which I got to do, which I'm doing obviously on here. But the point is so you guys know how to do it yourself, right? So we're gonna go back here. And there's some recent ones, right? So I'm back here. And I'm just going to go to advanced again. I'm going to let that pop up. And I'm going to scroll all the way down to probate. So P is for probate. Click that. Search. And let that load her up. And so I go by dates. So we got one from the, let's kind of just by file date. I already did that one. So let's do Cumberland. Why not? So this one. So here's the cool one right here, guys. Just FYI. We could see here that uh, Gary Wayne Moore passed away. And the PR is Zachary and Edwin Beardsley. So that's pretty cool. So what we're going to do is just click this uh, booking page here. I click the probate. One of them's gonna pop up, right? Oh wait, I can click here. View item, view images. So it looks like there's a Gary W. Moore. So I'm gonna click that. Use that for the search tab here. And for Gary W. Moore, we have deeds galore. We have all this. So the I'll go by the file date recently. And it looks like there was a lien from 2021 on this property, and there was a deed. So let's look up that deed really quick. Uh, mailing address is 52. Hold up. 52 Ryford Bridge Road. Grant to whose mailing address is the real property. Okay. He did another deed here. Let's look at this one. Principal state of Maine that who's mailing. So his mailing address is 52 rifled road road. So it looks like we have a min, min, municipal lead on 52 rifled bridge road. So on rifle bridge road is, it looks like that's the property he owns. Just looking at the, the quick uh, lean. So we're going to look up this address right here. 52 Ryefield Bridge Road. So I'm going to go here to 52 Ryefield Bridge Road. Looks like it's in Harrison, Maine. So it looks like this one. So I'm looking at here and let's look here. It looks like this was listed in August. So this one's already listed on the market. So I'm probably going to skip this lead then specifically. So as you can see here on the probate, this one's listed on the market. So we're just going to skip that one. That's probably not going to be a good one for us to be going after. Uh, yeah, no, 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 no. So we're going to go and go to the next one. So I'm going to go back here. We set it. Record dates. Advanced. Because sometimes I think the probates get done after they put it on the market, which is kind of a weird thing, but whatever. We're going to go back here to search in. And that's why I like checking them. Obviously, guys, there's not a ton of probates like being filed. Like this is a bigger market. So, of course, there's going to be a little more probates filed, but uh, sometimes there's not a ton being done. So, let's go here and let's do. Southport here. Uh, let's look at the thing here. So it looks like Daryl Crandall passed away. It goes to Mark Crandall. So let's look at the deed one more time. Let's view the details. So Daryl Crandall passed away. And it looks like Daryl Crandall owns... He owns... Looks like there's a release of mortgage on this though, so we gotta be careful. Hmm. 
Uh, let's see here. Daryl Crandall. Honestly, we're just going to look this guy up and we're just going to make it easier. So let's go here. This guy is Daryl Crandall. So I can just search here. Crandell right here. Daryl Crandell. So go here. Search it. Let's see. All right. Crandell, Daryl. And I just searched this on truepeoplesearch.com. And it looks like we don't see anything on here. Maybe I put the other one. Where's the county? No, where's the city on this one? On the deed. The deed here is going to be on Scarborough. So Scarborough, Maine. All right, let's try that one. Scarborough, Maine. Looks like nothing popped up from there. So I'll go to the next lead here. So we'll go here to reset. And we'll try one more and then we'll just do another one just so I can show you how to do it from another type of website. So we're, that's fine. Advanced, we're gonna go here to probate. And yeah, I mostly have a VA just do this and they do it a lot quicker. So just FYI for everyone on here, but yeah, let's see. Okay. So let's do a little older one. Let's do this one. So Eleanor Bubsby looks like she passed away and she has a deed here and this deed, I'm going to pop it up. And this deed says, uh, let's let it load. All right. And Eleanor, both of Bridgewater, paid by joint tenants. And Eleanor, both of, in the section of Shores Development. All right. So it looks like they own it. So trying to read this one. So is there going to be a David Ravenport Robbins? So we're going to look up an Eleanor Francis Bubsley. So they're not showing me an address too much on this one. It's fine because I just got to put them in tribulesearch.com and then it'll pop up. So I'm going to pop up Bubsby and search Eleanor on here. First name, Eleanor. What city was this in? Let's see. The city on this one is going to say. Let's see here. In Sabagayo, in the town of Naples County of Cumberland. Okay, Naples County. Naples, Maine. And we put it on truepeoplesearch.com. And let's pop it up here. All right, we're going to search it up. So it looks like there's one in uh, Eleanor C. All right. Okay, there we go. Eleanor F. Bubsby. Was it F though? Hold on. Eleanor. Yeah, F. Bubsy. That was her. So, looks like she owned a house in six one five Salem. So, looks good. And so, basically, what we have to do here is we see the probate that the personal representative here is a Mildred Davenport Robbins at 615 Salem, which is the same current address as this one. So what we're just going to do is call them up and see if they want to sell it. And we're going to check it out. So we're going to go here. And we're going to look up. Is it Michael Robbins? Who is it? It's going to be Mildred David Robbins. Mildred D. Robbins. So we have some phone numbers here and we're going to call these sellers up and see if they want to sell that property. So we're going to look up that house right here. 
Okay, that's a nicer house. Not bad, not bad. All right. All right, let's call it up. All righty. Let's get calling, guys. Let's see. Six one seven five two seven nine. Six one seven five one five two seven nine four. All right. Let's call these people up. I will get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you and have a good day. At the tone, please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. Hey, this is Zach. Please give me a call back, Millie. Uh, call me back on this number. I really appreciate it. Thank you. So I got her phone number. So that's the property right there, Millie Robbins. So see if she calls back. So we'll leave the ringer running. And uh, go to the next one. So let's do another uh, market. So let me know in the comments what market you guys want. I'm going to look through and see what market you guys want. But that's really how you pull probates and call them when it comes to that. Uh, we're going to do some more calls, try to reach somebody if, if we can on here. But yeah, let's see if some questions. We got two really quick. And then I went on the comments one market I can just randomly pull for someone and do it because that's what I'm trying to do. So Steve's got to go around here. We're in a $15,000 real life mastermind right now. That's what I'm trying, guys. So uh, next week, we will probably do code violations next week, and I'll probably pull and call them. And maybe just some more Zillows. Guys, I just want you to understand, like this list, of course, it's very time intensive, but there's only like, let's say, 100 probates to pull in a month in your local county. Like that's very, very easy to do. And I'm going obviously slow to teach you guys, but like if you constantly call like 100 200 it's going to do really well and i'm going very slow on purpose but like it's going to take time to call these lists and pull the list and do everything like that but like i can easily pull that list i like so i can pull that list skip trace it call it like really easy that's what my team does but like i have vas really doing this four or five bucks an hour scraping this type of data but of course if you don't have money starting out i, I totally get it so that's just trying to show you the stuff that i'm having my vas do and uh, this is very hate to call it very selfish, but like, obviously if I'm going to train a VA, I'm probably going to maybe show them this video so they can know exactly how to pull it the right way. But I probably just do it myself. Uh, I can't believe I paid 10 racks for this course with every penny. Oh wait, it's free. And this is on the YouTube channel, you know? So uh, I, I think it's absolutely hilarious, but uh, let's look at some good ones here. So let's go the old ones. Those were some of the first people to say it. So I love all the people on the channel. It really means the world to me, guys, that you give the support. Um, you really support everything I do. Um, and the one thing I do want to tell you before we get into this, guys, remember freelancing.com on the bottom. But like, I don't care what your guru says. I don't care what your big influence, uh, influencer says. The reason why I love probates and the reason why I'm talking about probates, why I'm so passionate about it is I just got to hold the Millie right there, right? But like, I, I got to hold her phone number. Shucks, right? But the cool thing you've got to understand here, and this is very important, like you can't buy this probate list. Like there's no service to go to Cumberland County, Maine and pull it. It's, it's kind of a tedious process to say nicely to pull this type of list. It's a very tedious pro. Like, I think you guys know that it's, it's a little bit of a, a little bit of work you got to do to get this list. But the cool part about that is that means no one else can really pull that list except for you. And most wholesalers, your competition is not willing to go and get in the trenches of that, right? They're got to most of your competition to get a hold of someone like Millie there. They're going to have to spend at minimum, probably, you know, six, seven, eight, nine grand in postcards, hopefully to get one probate situation, which you maybe in an hour, two hours, you can pull and skip trace like a really quick list or even do it for free at freehosting.com and like truepeoplesearch.com get a hold of all these lists for free. So you're destroying your competition. You're getting a form more probates, more distressed properties. And it works really, really well. So um, I got this. I don't know if this is the right one to call right now, but I'm going to do it. Polk and Hillsborough County. 
So as of this video currently right now, I'll go pop up the NOAA radar. I think they're getting hit with a hurricane as we're speaking. Uh, they're across the state from me. So yeah, that's probably not going to be the best location. Let's zoom in here. So we're looking right now. I'll pause I'll show. I'll show my people getting better at a hurricane right now. But like, this is the current like radar right now. So yeah, you know what? I'll do Polk. But like, I just FYF for everyone. Like Polk County right now. This is them right here. Um, we're just getting hit a little right here, but it's gonna get worse. But like, I'll pull it. But like, I'm gonna I'm gonna do this really quick for you guys just to show you how to do it. I'm not gonna go call like 20 of these right now because they're obviously getting hit. Um, but yeah, I think that's kind of funny, but I'll do Polk County. Okay. So how am I going to go pull Polk County, uh, right now? So let's do it right here. So let's go to Polk County, uh, public records. So, oops, all right. So I just searched on Google Polk County public records. So let me show you what I'm doing right now currently to pull this list. So I'm right here. Uh, this is just search Polk County public records. So I'm going to click here. And oh, this website always drives me nuts. Okay. So I haven't pulled this list in like six months. So I'm going to have to refigure out this website again, but I'm going to pull the probates from it. I'm determined and I'm going to do it. Okay. Every, the, I just want you guys to understand too, there's 3000 different counties out here. So they're all going to pull probates like a different way. And so we're going to, we're going to figure this one out. All right. So hopefully Des and Tatey uh, get some information on this. So let's go here. So how am I going to do this one? I guess I'm going to search public access. I'm not a robot. Proceed. Oh, Lord. This is going to be a complete mess, isn't it? So um, this is not the site that I'm used to using, though. I think I'm on the wrong website. But let's try this one. This one's probably not going to work, and I'm going to have to use a different workaround, but we're going to see this one. I'm going to go to probate. Search all cases from September 1st till now. We're going to see if this pops up. I need a court type. What? I just did court type. Please enter. Okay, I need the last name on this one. So this is probably not going to... All right, let's get back out of here. Let's do dot .net. I don't think that's going to work either. All right, let's go here. Search official records or court records? Let's do court records. No, that ain't going to work. I ain't going to take an L on this though. Here it is. Got it. All right. So where stupid guru kicked me out for a second. All right. I got excited. I think I, I think I booted myself out by accident. I got excited to find the probate there, but um, where was I at? All right. I was on this one. Okay. So, all right. So what I basically did here for a second, just so you guys know, is I was at the Polk County website right now. And so what I did was uh, basically, so I was going to court records and what I should have done instead, because every county is completely different. And I always forget this. I don't know why, but I always stink and do. Uh, I have to go by official records. Not Sometimes it's not always uh, records. Uh, so court records, I have to do official records. It sounds stupid. I know, but that just works. So whatever. So we're just going to go to a search official records, not court records. I always make that mistake. I'm human. What am I going to do? So this one's a little too big. All right, there we go. So what we're going to do here is we're just going to be searching here by document type. Maybe let's go check it out. Let's, uh, let's check this one out right here. All right, let's go look it up. Uh, looky, looky. All right. All right, so were we here? You guys see me? Yeah, there we go. All right, so we are on the document. So I'm probably going to go by document type and see if it's going to make me. It's probably going to boot me out on this one, but we're going to go all the way to probate and see if this works. So I'm just going to go to P, push in P. Okay, we're going to do last 30 days. See, it needs a party name. So we're going to do document types. 
So I don't know if that's going to work either. But all right, let's try probate. So this is a probate and then probate documents. So we're going to do last 30 days here. So let me know if that, guys, this makes sense the way I just pulled this right here. So uh, again, I went into the probate type and that's what popped up. So yeah. So, all right, let's go here. And we're going to go search it up. So you return more than a thousand results. So that's a lot of probates. So got some newer probates. So this is the probate information. So one thing I really like to do is I like just pull, like, I don't actually, I'm not really even a fan of this. I like to click print results. And obviously I don't want to print the results here, but like, when I click print results, I can kind of get this information, which I can export as a CSV because I'm a nerd and I like data. And when I pull the data on here, it kind of gives me like a CSV format, which I can kind of pull for myself here. And this gives me all this juicy probate information and data or data, whatever it's called. And the reason why I like this one so much is because it kind of pops up things really easy for me. I can kind of put it in a Google Excel or Google Sheets. Sorry. Microsoft Excel or Google Sheets. And the reason why I like it so much is as you can see here on the probates, do you see how this probates right here? The coolest part about this is when you look at legal, it'll give you the property associated with the probate. So I see here on, uh, let's just do a random one that, you know, Ralph Corner, he doesn't really have any real estate. But if I look at Michelle Willie right here, Michelle Willie has this house on Heritage Landings. And then I have to look up the, that's the legal name associated with it. And I can kind of go and pull and probe that, pull that data. That's how I pull and do cold calling and do all that fun jazz because I actually have a property associated with that. It, it makes it a lot easier to do. Uh, so that is how you do the Polk County. Let's try to do a couple calls. They're, I hope they have power, but who really even knows anymore? So let's go here and let's stop sharing this one. Let's go back to the actual results so you guys can see it. And uh, let's actually go on the website and look at it. I mean, kind of make our decision from there what we're going to do from it, right? So, oh, where are we? All right, we're right here. So what I'm going to do here is just go by date and let's go by legal. So it looks like in reprobate. So let's view. And it looks like that Ruth Silvati, she might have passed away. It might be the legal on this one. So we're going to search the legal on this one. And we're going to go to the Polk County Property Appraiser. Polk County. See, I, I'm not getting much information with the legal name, so I have to decipher all this information. So I'm going to go to the Polk County Property Appraiser. Go to Property Search. And let's show you here. All right. So I want to get some information on this. Obviously, owner's name is probably going to be the best one. But I can go by parse, uh, find parcel by ID, and I'm going to click that. I think parcel ID is a digit code, though, right? So maybe um, advanced query search. Maybe if I just add, that didn't work. Uh, let's do ID. Let's see if that works. No, so I got to go owner's name or site address. All right. So the site address here, I'm just doing Ruth Silviti estate. So just a quick hack. If you want to know if the person's the heir, the PR or the a person that passed away, if there is an EST, which stands for estate, you're going to know it's going to be the state of. So that's the person that passed away. So we see that Ruth Silvati M EST is that's the person that passed away. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go here and then search it. So do you guys see it on here? Right about here. And so I'm going to go here and I'm going to do it by name. So by owner name, I'm just going to paste that in there. And we're going to search records. And what popped up here is Ruth Savaldi, parcel ID. And what we got here was 2807 Winstert Park. So where in the world is this? It's in Winter Haven, Florida. And we're going to look up this property. And it looks decent, right? So 
this one's actually a decent one. You know, 2807 Winstered Park. So you might be asking, Zach, wasn't this probate data like hidden? Like, how am I actually going to pull it, right? And through what I have to say about that is not, okay? No. So yes, obviously for most people, they're going to get that and they'll be like, oh, you know, uh, they're, they're covering the information. I should go give up. No. Okay. You ain't a quitter. Okay. The, the guy you're listening to wholesaling information from is not a quitter. I don't quit. I'm going to call this person. I'm going to call the heir to this. No matter what, I'm going to figure it out. I'm going to find a way. And that's what I'm doing right here. So obviously I go to the probate records here, right? And when I go to the probate records, like, uh, oh, where's the probate record again on here? I think it's this one, right? Yeah. Obviously it's like, oh no, this is, has been restricted. I can't do anything. I should just give up. Oh no, 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 no. Yeah. Okay. So we got the most important part. We got the property address, which was 2807 Winstrut Park in Winter Haven. So what I'm going to do is just go to truepeoplesearch.com, which a lot of you guys might be like, wait, Zach, why are you going to truepeoplesearch.com? That makes no sense. Why are you doing that, right? The point of why I'm doing that is because once I do that, I can actually look at it. So let me just show you. This might be actually easier. I'm going to search, put it in truepeoplesearch.com right here. And remember, guys, I'm giving you the information the gurus do not want to give you. This is the stuff behind the $10,000 course. And they're probably not going to share the stuff with you because they don't want to do it because they're broke gurus. Uh, <laughs> I can, do I get in trouble for saying that's not mean? But it's not mean if it's true, right? I think it's fine. So you got to just go here. So I'll show you. truepeoplesearch.com. Winter Haven, Florida. I'm going to search that here. And what's going to pop up is Ruth, who unfortunately passed away. And I'm going to see here, and this is these old numbers, right? So that, these aren't going to work, right? But what I can do is I'm going to scroll past here. I have some emails, which are nice. But the reason why I want to do this is because it's it's going to pop me up right here. It's Kimberly Savali. So the one question I get asked here, do you have to pay for true? No, guys, Trivial Search is free. Like I literally just pop up the website and I'm, I'm going on it, right? That... That's the point why I love it. That's why I talk about it so much because uh, truepeoplesearch.com. So the cool part is possible relatives. This is the point. I'm going to click this one. And then I got her number right here, which I think is the same address, right? Yeah, that's the same address. So what I'm going to do is call this person up and let's do a live probate call. You know what's up. You know why I'm doing this video. But let's so let's go call this. That's the only way I'm going to figure this out. So let's let's go pop this up and let's get it. All right. Let's see here. Hold on. We're just going to I'm going to confirm something real quick. I think I have an area code on my call rail for Polk County. So that's why I'm checking it right now. All right. Is that the right one? Probably not, but whatever. All right, let's get these calls. All these three are landlines, which are not good, but we're going to try it either way because you know I'm not a quitter. So three, two, four. Two, two, three. I like seeing it when it's wireless, but whatever. Uh, so let's get calling. I didn't go through. Oopsie daisies. Did I put that in the right? Hold on. All right. Hey, this is Zach. Please give me a call back whenever you can. Thank you. All right, cool. All right, next. We're going to go to the next call. So there's three phone numbers that popped up. Guys, you can do this all for free. 
Just showing you guys out of here. All right, let's go to the next one. 863, 662. All right, let's go. Sounds like money. Oh my gosh. They're like these people sound like they're in a hurricane right now. This is ridiculous. Why am I calling people during a hurricane? I have no idea. I might try the landline to the deceased person really quick. Chad, if I see you use any of this information in your $1,000 probate course, it's going to be the end. All right, Chad, just, I see you. All right. No, no, no course information that I get for free goes in your course. All right. Capiche? Capiche? Uh, all right. Got it. Chad? You just got blocked. Jesus Christ. Stop selling a course in my comments. Holy moly, bro. Holy moly. Dude. Chad, why? Jesus. That is the fastest way to get blocked. Oh, my Lord. Why are you going? You... I said don't promote this in a course and you just you j <sighs> Chad Homie why 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 are you selling a course in the comments bruh dude Okay. You know what? Nothing bad to say about it, but this is the worst place to go in the comment section and promote a course. This is literally the, the worst. Like you, I see the comments like, Oh, the sound's not working. Or like, I want to know when I see it. I'm like, I'm gonna... I just, Bruh. Bruh. I know I'm I know I look like a dummy, but I'm not that much of a dummy. Lordy la lordy. All right, let's go back to doing some deals, man. Like, bro. Jeez. Homie's defending a five hundred dollar course in the comments. All right. I just no. Dude. 
Jeez. My goodness. And I try to be nice. I'm like, I'm like, all right, you know, he's commenting, he's saying nice things. That's great. Fine. Just don't promote a course. So you can say something nice. Fine. You might get a couple sales watching this. But you just, you just Chad, Chaddy, Chad, my boy. Look how they massacred my boy. Lord, Lord. All right, let's get calling. I, Lord, the stuff that I got to deal with, you know, like. You can't write the stuff up, you know. You know, like I, I try to put some. I. <laughs> You can't write the stuff up, guys. All right? I, you can't. I can't even write this up. The stuff writes the stuff. Okay? This. this uh, Serenity now. Serenity now. Serenity now. Serenity now. <laughs> it's like George Costanza. Serenity now. Serenity now. Oh my lord. <sighs> Jeez. I don't even like I don't even get it. I don't even get it. I don't even stink and get it. All right, let's go to the next one. I just. All right, let's. I mean, let's do one more for Polk County, I guess. But like, I don't want to stay in there because they're going through a hurricane. So no one's really going to answer their stinking phones. But get outside of Florida for the next one, you know. Let's do one more probate one. And then I and then I want to do uh, do 30. And then I really just want to do some out of state ones. This thing's for no hurricane. Jeez. Some people just be testing me all day, you know. I'm like, you know, I'm gonna go one, I'm gonna go one live stream without somebody testing me. I can't. I should do Cali, they don't have rain. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> All right, uh, let's do, what's a close date on this one? Um, we'll do Troy Harsh. No, no property. All right, Ernest Goldstein. Ernest Goldsmith. All right, bet. Let's look up property search. Ernest Goldsmith. Just people get really upset when I give out free like probate information and when I give them everything you need to know about wholesaling probates. That's when people really start flipping out on me. All right. Ernest. No, hold up. Goldsmith. Oh, they didn't pop up. All right. Let's look at the legal description. Does that pop up anything? Let's look at Ernest C. Goldsmith. I'll try it on True Google Search, see what pops up. All right, nothing there. On to the next one. Oops. Let's see here. Uh, where's the 
is the next one? Oh, oops, my bad. Sorry, guys. Yeah, everyone seen what I was doing here. All right, I was going on the Polk County website right here. All right. So let's do let's do Drake. But there's no property associated with Drake, but we'll look it up. John P. Drake. Let's see if John P. Drake owns any properties on the property appraiser. Drake is a dripping last name, though. Oh, yeah, he doesn't own any property. Got a sick last name. Gin's kind of sick, though, but it's not Drake, you know? Let's do one last one here. Oops, where are we at? All right. Okay, I get it. I get it. Chill out. All right. Uh, ah, all right. We're going to do Yurland D Pass. You see, why did my dad name me Yurland? That'd be a sick name. Yurland. Your land is our land. Made for you and me. All right. So I looked up Yurland D Pass. Let's look up Yurland D Pass. Depot? Maybe it's French. All right. Looks like we got 447 Cart Court in Point Siena, Florida. Oh, looks like it's already on the market. Yeah, this property's already on the market. All right, we're going to skip that one then. Yeah, that one's on the market. So we're going to go to a next one, and we're going to do... Philip Phillips Ganley. Ganley? Ganley? Gunley? Golandy? Go Fanny? Go Manny? Go Dranny. All right, let's check it out. It's Ganey. No, that doesn't pop up. All right. John Flee Willen. F E Flee L E W E Flee Willen. That's a Mary. This is a John. All right. Let's look at the deed. Is her name always on the deed here? Let's just look up John Flea one real quick. So John and Christopher. Oh, it's Christopher Lind. Christopher Lind. Christopher Lind. Christopher Lind. I have the legal one. It's not popping up. All right, here we go. So, 501 Hillside Drive. Okay, when did he pass away? Here we go. All right, cha-ching. So, the deed was in 2019, so he sold it. So, this is his house right now. And he recently bought it, which is interesting. Because I'm looking at the deed here. Because he wasn't the grantor, he was the grantee. Is he on the house? Yeah. So you see here, it looks like it recently sold, but there's no other deed associated with the property. So that's definitely his. And... One FYI, if you want to like look at these like this data points here, um, if you see the title company, if you see a wholesaler wholesaling at a certain address, one quick tip I can give to you right here is you can see the title company usually on the deeds, and especially in Florida. But yeah, all right, let's go here. 
Alrighty. Let's look up the property. All right, let's go to True People Search. Hudsondale. All right, let's pop this up, baby up. All right, here we go. We got some phone numbers. So as on the probate documents, the heir is going to be a John Fleewillen. John Fleewillen. All righty. Chad keeps messaging me. All right. I'll look at Chad's comment after this. All right. 863. 8681. All righty. Let's go call this guy up. All right. Ah, it's going to be a hurricane, but it'll be fine. Hello, hi. Is this the owner of 501 Hillside Drive? Yes, sir, it is. Hello, hi. This is Zach. I was just seeing if you were interested in selling that property. Property's actually going on the market on Friday. Okay. Is it listed with a realtor? Uh, it will be on Friday, yes, sir. Okay. Well, I'll look at it on the market. Sorry to bother you. Uh, have a great one. You too. Thanks. Hey, John, I had a quick question. Do you know what price it's going to be listed at? Okay. And do you have any leeway on that one? Uh, if it's cash? Uh, for cash, I could go like 590. 590. Okay. I mean, considering the market, I mean, would, would you be able to do anything closer to like 550 if I paid the closing costs? Not, 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 not okay. Well, I'll call you back and actually I'll deal with the realtor in the future. Appreciate it. Have a great one. Thank you. All right. You know, hey, I'm trying, especially during this market right now. Like, I don't want to push the dude. Uh, he's got to deal with some pain. But 605, and now he was at what, 590 on that one. I was seeing if he was going to do 550 at all, and he wasn't. So that's not even going to be a good wholesaling deal. But this guy's in La La Land. And this probably sold on the market for 120. There's gotta be something going on in this one, but like I look in the comps on this deal and the guy answered during a stinking hurricane, which is nice, but like, what is this? A four, four, 2,900 square feet. Sold in 2019. Like I, I mean, you'd be lucky getting 500 on this thing. I call the markets 550, but I was just seeing if he'd even take on market but obviously not there, but whatever. But guys, I'm just letting you know, like, at least I'm calling the guy. He is, <laughs> at least he is interested in selling it, right? I give it to him there. At least he is interested. I got someone interested, but like, you know, I think it's a tad high. Nothing against John there. Hey, hey, hey. I hope he gets it, but we'll see it on the market. We'll look at it. We'll check it out. But like, this seems like a person you've been on a follow up for like two or three months, but got like true people search probate. Boom, 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 boom. Right. Like it works. That's why I do it. That's why I show y'all, you know, I ain't scared. You ain't got to buy a course to learn this stuff. You just call them up. Right. And I use the same script and it works guys. Like you do like three, 300, four, 500 of these type calls. Like you're going to get deals. Like, like no, no question about that. Right. Um, but it works, right? Like, I kind of had to get him there, but like, obviously I would never give an offer, but like he was such in a high price. I was seeing if he's even going to take like anything cash. Like if it was going to be cash, would he take even something on market? And then like, obviously not. So th that guy's just, I don't think it's a good deal, but not bad. Right. But yeah, whatever. All right. 
Uh, look at the property really quick. Like, I mean, decent looking house here, but like, I'll pop it up on, um, let's pop it up on batch leads. I always use prop stream. Let's use batch. All right. Let's be, let's be a little nicer. Let me know. Hold on. I don't have it on this computer, so I'm just, I think I memorized the password. Memorization skills worked. Perfect. All right, let's search up the property. And so I just want to show you that. Let's look at the difference between prop stream and batch when it comes to this. These two properties, just so you guys get it there. Because I, I did a video on batch and prop stream uh, on Monday. So we're going to look at this one here. I'll even do uh, maybe check it out all right let's pop up these properties so maybe i'm even wrong on this one but like let's look all right so this is the interesting part about batch and prop stream just so you guys see it here So 609, he was willing to take 20K off of it, um, even for its cash, which is interesting. But so, I mean, we ain't got a hurricane coming by, but they'll get they'll get insurance on it. So this is what PropStream is saying it is. PropStream is always very, you know, optimistic about it, but uh, they're actually not too off on the value of the house, I would say. Um, which we'll do batch after. No, yeah, let's do PropStream first. All right. Prop stream has this property at 570. Uh, it's giving me some comps. Let's make this a little smaller, right? Uh, um, so it looks like there's another owner, but he is the owner on record. So it's just interesting. But actually, who is the owner on this? Let's go to the property appraiser. This has multiple probates going on with it, so. Yeah, so the owner was a probate, so there's multiple owners on this, so. Uh, interesting. But yeah, so this is the old owner, right? Let me just look at this one. No, it wasn't. That's weird. All right, whatever. All right, so 570 on this one. I get the appreciation, but like, It looks like it was a cash sale, but some on there. So, yeah, I don't. I see it for like five fifty at most, but I that that's still pushing it um, because it's probably not perfect. But it looks decent from the aerial view, right? Not bad. But I'm just showing you the difference between like what both softwares uh, would be. So the reason why don't you offer four hundred on cash? The reason why, like I was just offering, I was seeing if he would even take five fifty. Was obviously I wouldn't go there. It would be 550 depending, just assuming the property's in perfect condition. That's the way I explain that offer to him. Because if it's not in perfect condition, I'd probably be closer to maybe 500 for a wholesale sell for 520. Uh, so if that, if I just have to see if this guy's in like, he'll even move from 590 seriously. If he won't even move from there, then I know it's not even a good deal. I'm just trying to test the guy out. Looking here though, five set. I mean, decent, like that's a decent ARV, like not the end of the world, right? I uh, got the square footage right on there. So let's look up Bash has to say about it. Let's see here. Um, batch leads. Uh, we're looking on here. It's saying 620, but it's got a 77% confidence score. So we can use some look at some comps on that one, right? We can see here. See. Batch has a has it as a three bedroom. So am I getting the right property? Five hundred one, right? Yeah, five hundred one Hillside. Yep, five hundred one Hillside Drive. Yeah, no big deal. It's all through a probate, so it's fine. So the Ben Bass kind of all over the board here.
the property appraiser has as a three three, but Zillow has it as a four four. So something's up with it. Some interesting things going on with it, but whatever. Um, so if I look at this property here, it says six twenty. Comments decent on it, right? Let's see. All stuff that's good info, right? Let's see. Let's look at some comps. So this is a weird area for comps, right? So we'll do so in the last 12 months. We'll filter it out. So we only have like three comps to really go after here. And what we see here is they're selling between on these three. Where's ours on here? Ours is going to be our subject property. So I think. Hold up. Where's our subject property? It's going to be one street over from the little river thing, right? So is it on the bend. Lordy, Lordy, where in the world is this thing? All right, subject properties right here. So that's interesting. So ours is right here. Looks like we got no comps over there, but we got stuff over here at, if you average it out, right? We're like, we're gonna do the math here. Do one, one, one. That puts an average of, this is why I like batch is pretty cool with this. But like, if I'm doing the comps here, on zackdata.com it's like basically showing now this is all fancy software but like the average is 186 so at 186 and if this property has a 2900 square feet 2904 times 186.33 that's coming at 475 but ours has a pool so you can add 40 on that one if you really want to uh, there's some good features on this one though so what are these two? This is a three, three. Eh, I mean, you could get 200 cause I do see it on this one. So, but let's look at the rain tree one. So this one isn't updated. So maybe it goes for 200 square foot. If it's going for 200 square foot though, like I'm, I'm kind of doing the math here and looking at it Two oh what? 205 and it's, you know, 2904, that's pushing it. That's 600, which I don't think it's going to hit because that property, if I look here, is it the 691? 102 rain tree. Yeah, it's that one. So that one's estimated a lot more. They got, when was the sale? Yeah, that was during the heat of the market. So I would say probably estimating if it's nice nice like really nice 550 on the market like really nice zoo vibes this is a pre-recording i did pre-record this and i assumed that you were going to ask that question and i had my graphics team create a graphic because i knew everything and then no guys this is live okay it is 6 24 p.m Right. I show the radar. Like you can tell the time by the radar, you know, uh, <laughs> I think it's funny, but yeah. So like, I'm going to ask, you know, why does it vary between batch and prop stream so much here? Uh, I think the biggest difference between both of them, they both have their like proprietary softwares. Right. So they're both trying to figure it out. Right. Honestly, like they're both weird to a point. Like they're both trying to show you like a good estimate, but you still got to do the comps. So if I do the batch leads comps it goes from 620 to like 560 really quick and i never use the estimate price it's kind of like his estimate it's trying to try like trying to show you in a rough terms right and then you do kind of the comps so there's not many comps and that's the problem with that part you know uh so yeah tony says do a handstand if this isn't live oh lord let's do it <laughs> just kidding i don't want to knock all this stuff down but yeah so they vary but when you do the comps, the comps are going to pop up and you don't need to use these softwares at all. Like you still don't, but like they just make it easier, right? Like I, I can kind of run a comp really quickly while I'm doing it. Now I'm doing a cold call live. Again, I do want to say this one more time when I was calling that guy, 
I just wanted to see if he was going to budge at all from that 609, which he obviously went from six, he went from 609 to 590. And then he wasn't going to take a 550, which was, if he would take 550, I know if I met him and did the whole thing, I'd probably get 50, probably 530, or maybe even like a 609 with creative terms. But obviously he's excited. He thinks he's going to get that 609. I got to let him list the property, get some pain, and then call him. And I'm probably going to be able, I might even lock that deal up for 530, you know? But I'll let my on market wholesalers try it, right? But like, I mean, if the average wholesaler, which you should at most, at, at minimum, offer like 70% of these listing prices at 609, that's 426. That's what most like MLS guys are going to try. So I would probably be at like, 500. Like if I'm going to look at that house, like if I want to make it a decent deal, I'd probably be 500 on that house. And that's me assuming it's worth 550 now. Now it might be even worse, right? Got some hurricane damage. We're not looking bad. Not looking bad. Uh, you got to look here. Those are hurricane hidden and he might not have insurance on the property. So yeah, I've been calling my tenants all day too. Just making sure, um, they're all good. They're feeling good. The actual owner's calling them. You know, sometimes you're like doing that rental property. It's like not even the management company, like the owner's calling them. to let them know that like we're here for you, stuff like that uh, on some of the bigger ones we have. But like just making sure everything's good with the thing. But we got insurance. So like I, I pay a fortune for it. So let's see. Yeah, guys, I, I think a lot of people think I like I have a thing against on-market wholesaling. I don't have a thing against on-market wholesaling. I do on-market wholesaling. Not as much as you know probably as i should be but like i really like the off-market stuff because i like doing those bigger deals and there's less work for me more money stuff like that um we're probably gonna be, like especially in this market we're probably gonna get a little more into the on-market wholesaling side i'm not the big biggest fan of it right um compared to off-market but like i will probably be just doing a little more like i'll probably do a little more on-market stuff i get asked that a lot so uh yeah so get some more questions here. Let's do some more probates after this too. Uh, but the question here is, what is your probate script? So my probate script is very, very, very simple. Based on my probate script is, assume, so this is the fun, funniest thing about cold calling a probate, right? This is the one that I think a lot of people get really confused when it comes to cold calling probate properties. And if you call somebody and you say, hey, John, or I, God, John, so I'm not talking to him. You know, hey, Sarah, I saw your dad, you know, you know, Sam died. So I saw your dad, Sam died. Are you, are you looking to sell that house or can I buy his house from you? You're going to get clicks like click. No, I don't want to deal with you. Okay. Stupid. All right. That's idiotic. Like, why am I going to do that? That literally makes zero sense at all. Like, why are you going to do that? Right. That, that's a dumb way to do it. Now, the right way to do it is you got to play a little stupid. And that's honestly where I found the best success with my cold calling is just being, you know, stupid to a point. So, you know, hey, Sarah, is this the owner of the 123 Main Street? And you got to remember, that's the dad's house, but he passed away. So it's technically her house. So she's like, she's thrown off because when she answers that phone, she's like, oh my gosh, it's a telemarketer. Oh, bad cold caller, whatever, blah, 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 blah. When I ask her if she's the owner of that house, she's kind of thrown off like, wait, hold on a second. That. Am I the owner? Wait, am I the owner? This is kind of weird, right? Technically, she is the owner. So like, I'm the owner. Well, are you interested in selling it? Are you interested in selling the property? Huh. I, yeah, I think, yeah, I think I might be looking to sell it. Kind of like that John guy I just cold called, right? It's really interesting, right? And the truth is, like, I don't think a lot of wholesalers understand this, but like, if you start just being really simple and direct with your conversations, like, Hey, I'm looking to buy your house. My name's Zach. Do you see that guy? Like I cold called today. Like he didn't ask me anything. Like he didn't give me crazy objections. Like he's just straight to the point. Right. And the point is like, that's why it's better cold call that than like the average list where people get frustrated. Cause like not a lot of wholesalers are de dealing with that. So I think that's a big one, you know, just, Hey, are you looking to sell the property? And then you get to the MCTP, all the stuff I teach at freehosting.com and you'll be pretty much ready to go. Right. Uh, because why not ask, you know, uh, how many cold calls a day would be optimal to steady reach a deal? In my personal opinion, the perfect amount of cold calls to get a deal is going to be as many as you possibly can, obviously. Right. But really, if you can 
get 50 to 100 contacts a day without a dialer just by yourself, I think that's a good starting point. And I think that's a really good starting point. I think when you get a little you know, less than that, I don't think that's enough. And if you're calling enough and you get skip tracing done, I think that's that's a really good. If, if you want to steadily reach a deal, 50 to 100 hellos on a government list is going to probably be your best bet. And this is going to be like a lot of other stuff, right? So what does this mean, right? So what I mean by this is like, you're going to have to pull the code violations, the probates, like I'm showing you today, the water shot off list, fire damage properties, arrest records if you want, deal with some bail bondsmen, the liens, tax liens, pre foreclosures, all free lists you can pull at freehosting.com or I show you exactly how to do it absolutely for free. That's most likely going to be your best bet for wholesaling success. I don't think, I think a lot of people get really confused with that, right? Um, but yeah, I think that's going to be your closest point to success. And Don's got to go and, you know, building relationships with probate attorneys help too. They can send you deals a hundred percent. But I was just showing you how to do it yourself. But yeah, that's a great one too. Like Rick talks about that all the time. We talk about it at freeholston.com all the time. That's a great way to find it. And I absolutely love it. Yeah. How do I start if I'm a senior in high school right now? That's a great question. I got my first deal as a senior in high school at 17 years old. So uh, that's a great question. Honestly, what I can tell you right now is if you're a senior, you have to figure out what you want, right? Like, are you looking to get some money? Like want some freedom? Do you not want to go to school? Like what, what are you trying to do? I would say for most people, if you could drive for dollars or cold call a government list, that's going to be your best pathway to success because I spent all my money <laughs> getting my first real estate deal and I spent like 300 bucks doing it. And that was really risky for me, but I think it was worth it when I did it. Right. I, I think if I did a government list, I might've got the same results, but it would have been a lot less risky. And that, that but that information was a lot less available uh, out there. And obviously no one on YouTube is talking about it. So yeah. Let's see. So we're going to question here, not question, but uh, Justin was kind of showing that here, you know, uh, use Rick's probate letter as a template, uh, but try to make one yourself to use for your market. What? Yeah. So yeah, use the, so I, I think a lot of people don't know this, but if you go to freeholsing.com, I actually have a free probate template where you can kind of mail probates if you want for free. Like all you need is like a printer and you can actually just do direct mail for probates. Obviously you got to pay for stamps and stuff, but like it works. You can like, mix it up a little if you really want, like Justin's obviously doing right here, but like it works really well and it's free and I ain't selling you a dang course to do it, right? Like I show you absolutely how to do it for free and it works really, really well, y'all. So people don't like it that I give it out for free. People do not like that at all. People do not like that. I give all this information out for free, but I do it. And I think it it's the benefit for the people. So this is a really good probate question here. So What's the difference between probates and pre-probates? So pre-probates is going to be a different part of probate. So probates technically, so you go to freelancing.com, teach you all about how probates work, things like that. But like, so probate, like, like, I'm getting confused here. Let's do, let's focus on probates. All right. So probate is basically a court action. Someone passes away, basically seeing what's going on with the property. So if John Smith passes away and he doesn't have any will or anything, the court has to decide who that property goes to, right? And worst case scenario goes to the state, but there's usually always someone they can find, right? It'll probably go into the you know, the brother, the sister, the daughter, you know, the son, whoever, the grandma, you know, the father, whatever, right? The uh, uh, mom, things like that, right? So that's that's the court process for it, right? And you got to be a petitioner or a personal representative of the estate and go through that whole process, right? Pre-probate, so you a probate gets filed and you can search the probate online, especially on here. Like I can go like the Polk County right there to actually search how to pull the probates, right? The pre-probate is going to be before that, right? So like someone passes away and then they file a probate at most, you know, like I would say at most three, four months at minimum, you know, like really that's the closest you're going to be after someone passes away. Versus a pre-probate, which is the list you pull at listrei.com. As of this video, they are the only ones that actually have this list. Uh, so that's interesting, right? Like as of this video, they're the only ones. Uh, but yeah, that, that's actually a very 
it, it's a cool thing. But so you basically get to pull that list at listaria.com, aka prop stream. And what you can do there is basically get a list of people that passed away. And it really just does like a very big data scrape. So if you pass away and they look at the obituary and the death records and they see that, you know, you know, John D, you know, Rockfield, who John D. Rockfield owns this house in Sebastian, Florida. Okay. And the cool part about that is in Sebastian. So they look at the obituary and they'll say that John D. Rocksmith passed away and they look at official death records and was in Florida. So like, oh, snap. It seems like this person that owned a piece of real estate has a death record with them. So really what a pre-probate is, really like, I don't know if PropStream is going to be happy I said this at, for listaria.com, but like it's basically a death records list or like an obituary list. And like some of, well, most obituaries are fine, but like it's just showing it, hey, this person died. We are, we're 95% sure there's a deed associated with this one. So that person passed away. So it's basically dead landlord, uh, dead owners, right? That passed away, right? So it's just finding death records and obituary records and all online data and finding, okay, this person passed away. They own real estate. This is going to be a pre-probate. So this is someone that is going to be a probate, but it hasn't been filed yet. It's a pre-probate. Really good marketing from them. Uh, it's a really good one. We do use it. A little more advanced, right? Uh, but like, if you know how to do it the right way, it actually works really well. So you pull that at listri.com. Uh, it is a really good list to be pulling. So I, I think it's really cool. So yeah, on market wholesaling can be annoying. <laughs> Trust me, I get it. So Tom says, I'd love to see an on market video, especially I deal with the realtor. So Tom, this is actually, I'll, I'll just put it uh, in the comments for you, right? So I have a free MLS wholesaling course at freewholesaling.com, but I'll do the video for you on here too. Where is it? So I have it right here. All right. So this is going to be a 20 minute video. So it's a pretty good video. I'll go put it in the comments for you, but it works really well. All right. Where is it? Boom. All right, Tom. I actually, I put it in the comments. I'm going to see if you can see it, but all I got is go free wholesaling.com. It's on their MLS wholesaling section, but uh, it's basically my free real estate wholesaling course. Uh, and then I have a, like a mini MLS wholesaling course on there. Uh, so yeah. So Italian Ranger says, how do you respond to an owner saying, why do you care? Or why does it matter when asking why they're selling the property? That's actually a really good objection. I get like some objections I think are really stupid, but one thing, all right. So th this is an interesting part. Like, so if someone says, why does it matter why I'm selling the property? Oh, I'm just asking, you know, a lot of people have different reasons why they're looking to sell the property. Sometimes the property needs more work. Sometimes it doesn't. I've had people wanting to sell because they had termites in the house, but they never told me and I found it after. So, you know, I always just generally ask. And I've actually had that situation before, so I say it. But the truth is you want to figure out why someone's looking to sell the house because is I just want to know if there's something wrong with the house that I need to know about, right? And that kind of, you know, makes it a little easier. You know, it kind of clears the tensions a little more because there's some tensions when somebody says that. And there's some tensions when somebody mentions that. So I do get that. Uh, so we be careful on that. But that's really how I answer it. Again, how I answer that is I'm just trying to figure out if there's anything wrong with the property that I need to know about, right? Because I get that a lot when I do the Zillow for sale by owners. So it's always interesting to see how they do it, right? Let's see. Steve says, I'm hanging up the real estate license this week and going full off market. Ooh. All right. All right. I like it. I like it. So cold said cold says how cold heart says how do you poll a probate list if you're virtually wholesaling? Cold, I don't live in Polk County. Okay, I don't live in Cumberland, Maine. I'm literally here in Florida, uh, like the east coast of Florida. So like I literally I have my computer right here. I just showed you live how to do it. So just look at the replay on the video in the beginning, and I'll kind of show you how to do it. Uh, but yeah. So that's a good one too, MCTP. That's always an acronym we say at, free, at freewholesaling.com. But when you're having a conversation with the seller, think about MCTP, motivation, condition, time frame, price. When you're talking to a seller, especially with a probate, it's like, okay, they want to sell the house, right? And that guy on a cold call, he kind of stopped me there. But like when I'm talking to the guy on the house, what's the situation with this, right? Like, what do I talk about? How do I get this going, right? I think about MCTP. I talk about motivation. Why are they looking to sell the property? See condition. What's the condition of the property? What does it look like? Any repairs, updating, says the AC, roof, 
Now, is the chimney good or bad, right? See, then T's time frame. So what's the time frame of the property, right? So are they looking to sell the property, you know, within a month, a week, a year, and then P's price, uh, what price they're looking to sell the property for? Uh, it's very important you figure this out, guys. Uh, it's going to be huge for your success. So, yeah, let's see here. Do a you have a substation next to it? Um, let's see here. A lot of fire emojis. Oh my lord! <laughs> What's up, guys? What's up, guys? Iris says I put your website on someone's workshop and they delete it because I said it's free. Iris, you can't, guys. I'm telling you, don't promote my stuff on other people's stuff that they have courses. You will get blocked. So just be careful when you do that, okay? Just be very careful. Also, uh, guys, I need you guys to comment below a market for me to pull some probates, all right? I need to pull some probates right now. So go in the comments right now. Let's go find a probate deal and let's go put it up. So I want you guys to hear you do it. Give me a probate market and we'll start doing it right now. Let me uh, clear stuff off my screen here. But yeah, let's start pulling some probates. I, I want to keep going on this. I don't want to stop. I'm going to answer some questions real quick. All righty. Let's see. I'm getting Fort Olivia says Fort Wayne, Indiana. So we'll do Fort Wayne, Indiana. That was the first one I saw pop up here. So we're going to do Fort Wayne. All right. Let's look at Fort Wayne's County. So I don't know what Fort Wayne's County is. So I'm just going to look that up. I got some markets you can't find the probates and you got to call and figure out how to do it the right way. So they're in Allen County, Indiana. So I'm going to look up Allen County, Indiana. Oop. Allen County, Indiana. Public records. So is this it? I think that's it. All right, let's go find it. All righty. Where in the world am I? Okay, this is all French to me. So we're gonna we're gonna figure out how to do this. Okay, welcome to Allen County, Indiana. Looking good here. Okay. So some markets, I don't know about this one, but some markets you have to just do a public records request form before you get the probates. You just gotta email it, it'll be fine, but just understand sometimes you get that. Uh, and you got to go to the courthouse doing it. But let's go look here and try to see. Court records. Click here. Oh. So it's making me submit an online request. Yeah, I have to get a copy. Let's see. Make a payment. Type of records maintained. Miscellaneous filing list. So you can go find it here. Method of filing. List pendences are going to be on the. So they're going to tell me on this one. So I got to go with P. So where is P, A, B, C, P, probate. So I'm going to search Allen County. Maybe it's under the probate court. Allen County probate court. I search Florida. What's wrong with you, Zach? There we go. Okay. What in the world is this? Okay. These are all probate forms, so. Okay. So it ain't playing, it, it, ain't, it ain't, they're not a plain uh, fair ball with me. So I have some, I have some tricks up these sleeves. I, I ain't uh I ain't a new cat to this game. I know what to do. 
All right. I, I ain't no uh I ain't no sucker on here. I ain't no guru. Let's go uh check this out. Okay. We're gonna go to my case, Indiana, which is gonna be the hardest one for me to do. Let's do a Hal Mary. Let's check it out. Let's go full Miami Dolphins and whoop these butts. All right. So this is Odyssey Quartz, which is a pain in my butt. I've tried this before. So we're gonna do all oh we will do all we're gonna go probate. Yeah, it's gonna need this, isn't it? So we'll just do zero nine. Gonna need a case citation number or a cross reference. Renewed by attorney. Name. I'm gonna do this one. Appellate courts. All right, we're gonna go to the dockets on this one. This might work too. All right. They are a pain in my behind here, Allen County. All right. Allen County Court. Okay. Court forms. Find my court case. Nope. All right, well, you know what? I'm going to have to go dirty. I'm going to go play dirty here, okay? I got to do this for Olivia. I really hate to go this dirty, but I'm going to have to go dirty. Now, this is a Hail Mary technique for you boys and gals out here, okay? Guys and gals, this is a Hail Mary. So we're seeing here in Allen County, Indiana, there being a pain on my behind on finding the probate case because they want a case number and they want a name of the person that is in the case. So there's only a couple ways to be doing this. All right. There's only a couple, there's, there's some dirty ways to do this, but unfortunately I'm going to have to do it. I'm going to have to be looking at court. I'm going to have to look at online records of deaths for Fort Wayne. And that's how I'm going to figure it out. Unfortunately, I hate doing it, but it's past five o'clock. I can't call the court. I'd actually just publicly ask for the information, but unfortunately I might just have to go through the obituaries and look, hate to say it, but this is going to probably be the best way to do it. So I see a Sally and Blake. So I'm going to just look up here and get the information on here. Hate doing it, but whatever name, Blake. Sally, wait, we're going to do 01, 01, 2022. Oops, all right, wait, probate. All righty. So we got one of these right here. Florence M. Blake popping up here. Okay. Jeez, a lot of this is these court documents are insane. Uh, let's see if I get some information on the. Let's see here. Presence going to be Alan and Phyllis L. Blake. So that's what I'm going to look up at truepillowsearch.com. Let's look here. Do I get information on this one? Hmm. 
So I'm going to look up a Florence M. Blake. So I'm going to go to truepeoplesearch.com and just look her up. So I look up Florence M. Blake on here. So I'd probably just... Honestly, I'd probably just do a FOIA act on this, but just since I want to do this online really quick, I want the obituaries. I see Florence M. Blake right here, Indiana. I got the phone number here. Now, she passed away, but the on the court records here, it looks like her property was 204 Raven Drive, which is nice, right? But what I want to do is I'll have Phyllis Blake on here, Okay. So when I saw a Phyllis Blake, she should be on this. Phyllis Blake, Phyllis Blake, right here. Phyllis L. Blake popped up right here. And she's in California, California IA. So what I'm going to do is just call this person up, see if they want to sell the property. That is all I am doing. So let's call them up. And let's go pop it up. Hmm. Let's see. All right, let's pop it up. Okay. That didn't pop up, so we're going to do another one. Um, let's get another number on there. So I'm calling off the obituary record I saw just because I can't get any information. I just want to call it for them to show you. You can kind of pull the probates anywhere. But and even really obituary records with True People Search is like a – it's kind of a sneaky trick, but your local guru ain't going to tell you. We're probate guy. Hello. Hello. Hi. Is this Phyllis? Yes, it is. Hi. I'm trying to reach the owner of 204 Raven Drive. Is it? Is this you? No, that's my mother's house. Oh, okay. No worries. Can Sorry. I help you with? Yeah, we're looking to buy some more properties over there in uh, Laporte County, and we're trying to reach some people, seeing if they're looking to sell their house. Uh, they're in our cr right criteria, so. Oh, okay. Are you guys looking to sell it at all or? No, not till my mom passes. Oh, okay. No worries. I really appreciate it. Have a great one. Thank you. Thank you. All right. looks like she didn't want to sell there, but whatever. So I don't think her mom, it might have been her aunt there. I don't know whatever that was, but whatever. So we got, we got a hold of somebody. So whatever. So. Yeah, those obituary records work, guys. Like, I just, you do calls like that, right? That one didn't pop up too well, but like, you keep popping stuff up like that, it's going to work out. So maybe there's two people that there, whatever. But you just keep calling stuff like that. You're going to do really well. You're going to figure it out. You're going to do it. But yeah, I was a real pre pre probate. Uh, but it's a good lead to be going after, right? Since I was a probate lead, I was kind of a little nicer on it. I didn't want to, no. She was like, well, I'm not the owner of it. Which is kind of weird, but whatever. All right. Sorry, guys. I have this little, uh, I have this little, uh, on the mouse. I'm getting used to it. We got a new mouse and it's got this like side gaming thing. 
And every time I like I move it with the side until I hit the side, I think it clicks me out of here by accident. So my bad guys. I think he rigged this. When you click it, it does it, it does it does a refresh on it. I'm gonna new. I gotta get in. I gotta I gotta program this mouse. That's the refresh button. I thought it was the click button. I clicked it again and it refreshed me. Oh my jeez, Louise. He's Eric's gonna Eric's killing me on this. You know, whatever. All right, um, all right. Yeah, guys, that code violation list is absolutely killer for wholesaling. Uh, I highly recommend it. Uh, that's a great wholesaling us to be going after. Let's see. Justin's got it right now. If you're not pulling government list, where are you at? Where are y'all? Where are y'all at? If you're not pulling the government list, absolutely great list to be calling. Of course, no worries. Love helping the people out here. Let's see here. There's a lot of there's a lot of people all over the country here watching. I love seeing the people showing the support. Absolutely love to see it. Breaking the chains that bind. Oh yeah, those realtors they they get a little crazy sometimes. <laughs> uh, awesome show. I love people that are promoting the channel. Love to see that. Love to see that. Governmentless are hard, but. What else is hard is calling a list that is easy to pull, but every other wholesaler is pulling it, right? And you got to think about that for a second too. You, you got to understand that. Like, of course it's harder to pull that list, but the also pro of that too is, of course it's harder to pull that wholesaling list, but it's also easier to have a call. So do you want an easy list to pull and a hard list to call? Or do you want a hard list to pull and an easy list to call? Personally, I'd rather call an easy list that wholesalers aren't already talking to them. There's not much competition. They're ready to sell and there's going to be a big profit associated with them. And I can kind of pull them while I listen to music and make it a little easier, right? That's honestly what I what I found. But hey, whatever, right? Um, the, the government list is harder, but the calls are harder too. So yeah, you can convince me. Yeah, I. if you're not making money like as a realtor, I don't see the point in it, but that's honestly what I've seen. If you want to learn how to do the bail bondsman list, just go to the uh, freeholsing.com. It's all in there. So yeah, the weather's going to a little... Yeah, I'm, I'm looking at the water right now. Um, studio's on the water. Um, it's getting a little dicey out there. ain't going to lie. Yeah, it's getting a little dicey out there, but nothing too bad. Okay, it's getting a little dicey out there. Not going to lie. <laughs> um, I don't know if you guys hear the rain, but... Uh, that a tad dicey, but we got the internet. They, the, we're still the power's still going, so I ain't upset, right? Love you, long time, Zach. <laughs> yeah, uh, there's a ton of code, so that makes code about popular. That's true, but yeah, guys, yeah, the weather is gonna get rough tomorrow. So, what I could tell you guys, just a, an FYI for everyone, like, I 100% want to do a live stream tomorrow, okay? The thumbnail's done, like, the video's set, it's already written out. It's all scripted for you guys. Like it got really good info on there, right? The question is, am I going am I able going to be do am I able am I going to be able to do it? I hope so. I really hope so. But I can't control if the power is going to go out or not. So I'm gonna try everything in my power, you know, you know, pun intended, to do a live stream with you guys tomorrow. Am I going to be able to? I hope so. I can't guarantee it, obviously. It's out of my control. But I have a I have some really good recorded content. That I was going to release this weekend. That I'll just release you know, there, and then I'll have another video for the weekend for you guys. So I'll just record that. When there's no internet, uh, so yeah. So just do that, guys. Just FYI. So worst case scenario, there's just going to be there will be a video tomorrow at five o'clock released on the Flip of the Work channel, and then the Zach and channel there'll be a video at five. I'll probably put that at eight or ten. Honestly, I might release a Zach and video at eight. If I get lucky, the power comes on at like 10 p.m. I'm just going to do a live stream just to talk to you guys. I don't care. I'll try tomorrow if the power's not working, but we're going to see. Uh, but yeah, the, guru, the gurus are praying that there's no live stream tomorrow. They're praying the power's going to be out. They're, they're praying for all this stuff. And 
more power to them. I'm these gears ain't going to stop me from getting the best value out here. Okay. One live stream is not going to hurt I'm missing, but uh, yeah, no, no. All right. So most likely I would say just looking at it. Uh, let me look at the five o'clock. Actually, I can give you a percentage if I'm having a live tomorrow or not. So I'm just looking at the uh, hurricane watch. So let's just check it out here really quick for tomorrow. It looks like it's swaying here. So I'm just sorry for all the people that don't care what I'm doing, but I'm just seeing if I'm going to do if with a percent, if I can put a percent chances of I'm having a live or not. So the chance of me and having a live, we have currently statistically, it looks like there's an 80% chance of tropical storm force winds. So where I'm at right now. So that's what the, hurricane center is saying right now so probably i'm going to lean towards the power is going to go out it might come back on but we're at 80 percent right now so not looking good but yeah whatever i'm gonna try it if i i might try it on lt what are we gonna do but yeah yeah whatever we'll, we'll check it out but no, it, it should be fine. I'll do a live stream. I'll help the guys out, whatever. And then I'll just do a recorded video. But hey, maybe I get lucky. The power stays on. I've had a couple of hurricanes where the power stayed on and we got 80% chance tropical storm force winds. It ain't going to stop me, guys. I just want to give it like I was born during a hurricane. I don't think a lot of people know that. I was literally there's a hurricane going on when I was born. My family had to drive through a hurricane to see me be born. All right. This is a Bane reference, but like I was born during a hurricane. Okay. I didn't know good weather till I was probably uh, like, you know, three or four days old. All right. I've only known hurricanes my life. All right. So this stuff ain't gonna, this stuff ain't gonna affect me. All right. This is easy for me. I ain't gonna stop. All right. I'm probably gonna have to drive through tropical storm force winds tomorrow. Okay. Stuff hurling everywhere in my truck over to the studio driving over. And I ain't going. I'm going. All right. Nothing's gonna stop me. All right, I'm, I'm storm more. <laughs> That's a good one. But uh, yeah, so yeah, guys, just FYI here. You, you, you know what I'm going to do. You know, it ain't going to stop me. So yeah. So what uh, free uh, skip tracing tips, free uh is going to teach you that. Just go to truepeoplesearch.com. It's going to be the best one to do it. Uh, but yeah, you know, run a live from, a, from the Tesla. That'd be, yeah, I got no internet though. Maybe I, you know what? Let's see if I get, I might let's see if I get a I have generators and I've I'm maybe I get on Starlink tomorrow. Maybe someone told someone messaged me, Zach, get on the Starlink and get a hurricane and do the live stream. I'm like, might not be a bad idea. You know, maybe I run a pow, maybe I run a gas power generator for the Tesla tomorrow. <laughs> so we can do it from there. Uh yeah, that, that'd be a great one. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, guys, no matter what, there's going to be videos out. Y'all are going to be making money. You're going to learn. Worst case scenario, I'm going to have my LT on my phone. Uh, go to uh, Hostling Houses for Real. Go to my Instagram. Go to my uh, Facebook group. I'll be on there. I'll probably do a live stream from my phone if I can do a live stream. Uh, but I will be releasing videos and content tomorrow. So it's all out there. I ain't going to stop. Nothing's going to stop me. These stinking gurus tried stopping me today and they ain't going to stop me. Um, I had one guy comment a probate course, whatever. No one's going to stop me from doing what I'm doing. All right. I am on a trajectory in my life to help as many people as possible learn wholesaling real estate for free. I don't have a course. I got nothing. I just want to help the people out. Well, I don't have a course to sell. It's all for free at freewholesaling.com. I think everyone knows that. All you got to do, go to freewholesaling.com and do it, guys. No matter what, I'll be making money tomorrow. Uh, we had a really nice contract today, so it'd be pretty cool. Uh, DePaulo says, prop stream utility lien list for the county. The county is going to be better, but the prop stream is going to be easier to pull. So pull both and remove the duplicates and then go from there. That'd be my best advice for you. What's your Facebook group? No, my Facebook group is called Wholesaling Houses for Real. It's called Wholesaling Houses for Real. Hang in, hang with Pete. Just go to www.flippethrick.outs. Um, I'll type it out for you. Actually, I'll put the link. Hank, Pete's on here. It's called Wholesaling Houses for Real because I'm a guru, I'm not a guru and I wholesale real estate for real. So I'll put it on here. Go to Wholesaling Houses for Real. 
and I'll show you. We're almost at 70,000 members, which is insane in that group. But right here, just go here. Right here, facebook.com slash groups slash wholesaling houses for real. That's how you hop on, talk to me, and I'll teach you everything you need to know. And that's it, guys. I'm telling you right now, it seems like this is going to be the perfect time to start wholesaling, guys. And that's why I'm trying to show you how to do probates, all this stuff, and show you everything you need to know for wholesaling real estate. Success. success. So do me a favor. Make sure Zach single-handedly will change the path of the hurricane so he can live stream. Yes, I will. It's going worse for me, but whatever. All right. Guys, if you want to learn wholesaling real estate for free, right here on the bottom is freewholesaling.com. I teach real estate wholesaling for free. I hope and pray everyone stays safe uh, for the hurricane. Uh, if you are in my neck of the woods, and I really hope the power stays on. Um, honestly, I would call it 50-50 at this point, but um, I might even have it scheduled out, and there might not be a live stream, so don't be upset because the power just might go out, right? So just, I want everyone to know that. Okay, so the power might go out. Uh, but there will be a video at five o'clock, no matter what. And I'll let you know, maybe I have a video at five o'clock. The power comes off, comes up at like 11 o'clock at night. I'm probably just going to do a live stream just because I like discipline. I'm a, I'm a discipline guy, right? Discipline equals freedom. That's what I truly believe. So no matter what, there will be videos. There will be content coming out. So I'll teach you everything you know for free. So the free course is at freeholsling.com. F-R-E-E wholesaling.com. It is not. Okay. It is not. On YouTube, it's called freewholesaling.com. Uh, yeah, and we also have a messenger group. You just go to uh, Wholesaling Us Free. It'll be in there. Mike, I ain't going to say the topic because the gurus want to know my topic and they're going to steal it. So I do not say my topics. I only say the day of because gurus really love stealing the stuff I talk about. So guys, go to freewholesaling.com. Teach you wholesale and real estate for free. I ain't your broke guru. I am your person that's going to show you how to start wholesaling real estate for free and give you that financial freedom. I want to open your eyes to wholesaling real estate success. I want to teach you everything. I don't want to sell you anything. I want to help you out. So just go freewholesaling.com, guys. Here's the free real freewholesaling.com video and hope and pray. And hopefully I see you guys tomorrow. Stay tuned. Check out my updates on my Facebook group. Check it on my Instagram at flip with Zach on Instagram and keep it, keep updated. And I'll see you guys soon. Have a blessed one. Hey guys, Zach in here from Flip with Rick. And after helping tens of thousands of people get started in wholesaling real estate and helping so many people out go from $0 to $100,000 in wholesaling real estate, I'm super excited to announce my new wholesaling mastery course. This wholesaling mastery course will have everything step-by-step -step on the whole entire wholesaling processes. I'm gonna give you real deal examples. I'm going to hold your hand throughout the whole wholesaling process. This course will give you everything you need to know to make up to a hundred thousand to over a million dollars per year in wholesaling real estate profits. Most real estate gurus out there will charge you around $5,000 for a course like this. But today, if you click on the link, you will get my wholesaling mastery course for the low price of sell out. What? What are you doing? What are you doing? What do you mean? I knew you would do this. I knew you were going to go the course route with the guru. It goes against everything we've preached from day one. Don't be a sellout. The course is free. What? I'm, the course is free. I'm giving it for free. Oh, I apologize. Carry on. Jeez. Okay. Sorry about that, guys. Yeah, duh. Do you think I'm going to go sell out as like a regular guru selling you a course? I'm not trying to make money off of you guys. Guys, over here, all you got to do is click there to just sign up. No gimmicks, nothing. Absolutely for free. It's a free wholesaling course. Literally, I've seen every single wholesaling course. I have access to all the 10,000 mentorships. Guys, I've literally copied them step by step. I literally have an entire course set out just for you for wholesaling real estate. Click on that and let's get started.